morning about what will be the widest Academy Awards in years. None of the top acting categories, not one, features a minority nominee. That sparked a firestorm on social media. The hashtag Oscars so white overshadowed the official Oscar nominations hashtag on Twitter. Michelle Miller is here with us as the Academy defends this decision. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. Well, a growing chorus is calling for the Academy to better reflect the demographics of America. This year's group of nominees have highlighted what some are calling a whitewashing of the industry's top honors. For achievement in directing, the nominees are. It's the lack of diversity, not the body of work creating Oscar buzz this year. All 20 acting nominees are white, and that hasn't happened since 1998. I am appealing to men and women of God and goodwill everywhere. The Martin Luther King Jr. biopic Selma received critical acclaim and was generating heavy Oscar buzz for actor David Oyelowo and director Ava DuVernay. Selma was nominated for Best Picture and Best Song, but was snubbed in the director and acting categories. Wendell Pierce played the Reverend Hosea Williams in the film. They don't judge with the same barometer when it comes to a, a diverse palette of women and people of color. DuVernay would have been the first black woman nominated for Best Director. David doesn't look like King. David doesn't sound like King, but he reminds you of King when you see this mm -hmm. film. Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs told New York Magazine after the nominations she doesn't believe the Academy has a problem with diversity, saying the good news is that the wealth of talent is there and it's being discussed. America is browning and Hollywood needs to catch up. The Academy doesn't reveal very much about its more than 6,000 members, but a 2012 Los Angeles Times survey indicated that Oscar voters are nearly 94 percent Caucasian and that 77 percent are men. You cannot be a body, you cannot be the Academy and be 94 percent white and think that you're still reflecting any sort of reality that's happening in this country. This year, not a single female writer, composer or cinematographer got a nod. A 2014 study from San Diego State University claimed that women made up just 17 percent of all the people who worked behind the camera. There are talented women, there are talented blacks, there are talented Hispanics also. All they're asking for is inclusion. That's all they're asking for. Well, President Obama will host a screening of Selma tonight at the White House, the first major Hollywood film to focus on the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. as the nation prepares to celebrate his national holiday on Monday.